2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The energy is mounting. Almost time for basketball at Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York. The Bucks taking on the Nets for Milwaukee. A tough road loss in game one put them at a deficit. A big win tonight would get them back on track. Nets, Bucks, round one of the NBA playoffs. Round one of the East rolls on. Game two, just about ready to tip off. Playoff basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. And we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks very much. We have all heard the rumors regarding Kyrie Irving's moodiness. His teammate Kevin Durant said, Kyrie is an artist. He has his way of doing things, and I support him 100%. Irving said, human beings have mood swings. I don't have to be perfect. My teammates know who I am, and I'm proud of who I am. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in at the three slot. And for Brooklyn, they've got Kyrie Irving. Durant is out there with Jordan. Then it's Harden, and it's Harris in at the small forward. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. Irving passes to Durant. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. And that was a little bit of a raised kick for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine, the way that scoreboard's going to light up. Six on the shot clock. Irving for three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Hey, we know Harden can score. But he also has great vision. And Holiday kicks to DiVincenzo. Back to Holiday. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Here's Durant. And the layup's good off the glass. Tell you what, that defense was physical, and yet Durant, with great balance and composure, just stayed with it. Durant against Howard. Pass to Middleton. Up and in from the low block. Read the defense perfectly on that possession. Brooklyn's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Irving with the bounce pass. A floater. And it's Durant missing for Milwaukee. They've gone two or three here to start off the game. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Milwaukee shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Vincenzo. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Trailing by two. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Jordan really relishes playing through contact and converting. Showing you just how strong he is and a good level of concentration too. Now here's Middleton. Kick out to Lopez. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Brooklyn. And on the way from Irving for three. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got three assists tonight. On the wing, DiVincenzo. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here.
and these are his second and third free throws tonight. First one falls. So he gets them both. Here's Irving. He's got six. It up for Jordan. Up high to stop the alley -oop. Yeah, you got to respect the athletic reach of Jordan. Throw it up, and he will bash in the alley -oop. He had a nice open look right there. Giannis has got five points so far. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Chalk up two there. Antetokounmpo's got his third basket of the night right there. And Antetokounmpo showing his versatility yet again. His dribble moves are virtually unguardable. Here's Durant. Banked in off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Antetokounmpo. He's got seven. Boy, the added work in the weight room for Giannis coming into play there. I mean, you got to send an army to try to stop this guy. That's to KD. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. He has six. And both teams here in a nice rhythm offensively. And that really says as much about the lack of D as it does either's O. Passes it to DiVincenzo. And the three off target. For Brooklyn, they've gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off of the assist. Now, here is Holiday. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. The shot's good from Lopez. Because of that big body and seven-foot frame, Lopez a handful to keep off the glass. Outside, KD. Good D by Lopez. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known time as out, the Creek Freak? I mean... He just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Changes for Brooklyn. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. And it's Brown in for Harris. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Bryn Forbes comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Now, here is Irving. He's got six. And Harden hit the stuff. Well, his IQ is one of the best in the league. Irving has a great feel for when his teammates are open. Here's onto Takumbo. And he banks in the lane. Onto Takumbo's got 13. You got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. And here's Harden for three. It's rebounded by Portis. Milwaukee in the lead. Here is Forbes. This one for three. Good D by Harden. They're running. Pulls up for three. 
Here's Durant, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. KD's got it all tied up now for Brooklyn. Irving against Holiday. Here's the lob, and Kumbo stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Irving, and he lays that one in. Eight points for him. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Now here's Young. 13 points in the game. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kevin Durant. And really, Antetokounmpo never stops attacking. I mean, he's always in attack mode. He really forces the defense's hand. He keeps pressure on them at all times. Free throw good. Giannis. Hey, if you had a list of the most athletic players in the NBA and did a roll call, it would be not long before you got to Antetokounmpo. The Greek freak is a real deal. And the Nets making a change here. Green's checked in. Milwaukee also making some changes. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Teague in for Drew Holiday. And both free throws good for Giannis. Brooklyn's gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. Now here's Harden. Green finds Irving. Five to shoot. Kept alive. Kicks it out to Harden. Outside Irving. Launches it. Tries yet again. On the wing, Green. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And the Nets lead by three. And Green's become a dependable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, you can certainly knock those down. Teague, the pass to Antetokounmpo. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Jeff Green picks one up. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. First one at the line is good. He doesn't get the second one. And so Griffin will bring it up for Brooklyn. Irving finds Harden. Let's it fly from 18. Milwaukee with the rebound. They want to put some distance between them and the loss on Monday. It's painful to watch, guys. You could see their frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. Yeah, they had no answer for them. They simply got outplayed and outworked. Brooklyn with the ball after the basket by Milwaukee. Here's Irving in the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major, or it could be just a slight tweak. Checked in for the Nets. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Antetokounmpo. And there's the pass to Forbes. Fortis kicks the tee. 
No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. In the corner, Irving with it. Another miss by Irving. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed it. Here's Forbes. It's blocked. They recover it. Teague with a clean look. Milwaukee keeping it alive. The new 14. Tom to the right wing. Or the three. No good that time. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Irving against Portis. Irving attacking an easy two points on the way. Now it's a four-point Nets lead. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Teague, the pass to Portis. And Forbes has it in the corner. Hands it from downtown. As a spot-up shooter, guys, Forbes is right there amongst the best in the league, and his movement is what separates him from many. And he gets those chances, he'll convert. Perfect. And basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Portis, the pass to Tucker. Now T. Left side, Portis. And he misses his first shot of the game. That's leading by three. Here's Harden. Pass to Claxton. Hooked away. And stolen by Portis. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Kicks it to Tucker. Hucks passing it around. Connaughton passes to Tucker. Over Green. That's short off the rim. Burnett shooting very well. 58% the offense is falling right now early for them. Brown outside. Milwaukee with the rebound. Here's Connaughton. And that shot was up in time but doesn't go in. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Brooklyn Nets. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And regarding the mental aspect of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this to say earlier. Definitely the game has slowed down a lot for me. I'm able to know where my team is going to be. I'm able to get to my spots. And know, I know my spots. And uh, I don't score on accident no more. I score because I know, okay, I'm going to get to that spot, try to make a play for my teammate or make a play for myself. Well, Greg, that might be why they put up so many points. They all know the roles. They've got the right recipe for everything they want to do on offense. Yeah, his awareness plus unselfishness puts defenders in a no-win situation. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in Game 2. And taking a look at the next performance here, guys, what jumps out to you, stats -wise? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. They've got Green on out there with Irving. Then it's Joe Harris, and it's Claxton in at the center position. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Lopez, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Free throw good from Kyrie Irving. You know, what comes to mind first when you think of Irving is his hand. Rush hour tight, but also his dynamic ability as a scorer. Oh, that's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. And the Nets really going to change here. Jordan's checked in. And so it's Milwaukee now. Four-point game. DiVincenzo finds Lopez. Lock at six. Here's Teague. Some solid defense there from Irving. And it's Irving with the ball for the Nets. It's Brown with the drive. Another shot. Lopez with the block. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. 
and you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Teague against Irving, and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game over. Now, here's Teague. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Lopez, no what? Harris outside. Dishes it to Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Lopez with the steal. Teague deciding where to go with it. Pass to Lopez. Over Irving. And the Bucks miss again. Brooklyn leading by four. Harris dishes to Irving. It's Brown on the wing. Jordan. And there's Jordan putting it right back in. Jordan's got the lead up to six now for Brooklyn. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here is Irving. Here is outside. Outside, Brown. running dry for him right now. Nothing. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan's team. making some changes. Blake Griffin comes in for Nicholas Claxton. And Durant subbed in for Irving. Milwaukee also making some changes. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Drew Holiday in for Jeff T. Harris outside. Back to Durant. From 18 feet away. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. You know, sometimes you don't like to see guys pull up from three-point range on the break, but for him, with nobody on him, that's a pretty good shot. Now, here's Brown. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. He scores, and he's off the schneid with that basket. One for seven on a tough night for him. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Giannis Antetokounmpo has checked in for P.J. Tucker. Giannis Brown feeling out a bit. He kicks to Harris. 
Jordan the pass to Harris. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. What's ball? Bucks trail by three. Outside Holiday. Middleton outside. Down low. And Giannis throws it down. And you know, this is why people are so high on Antetokounmpo. I mean, he's a ferocious player, great competitive spirit, tremendous work ethic, and highly skilled. He wants to dominate. KD with the bucket. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. And so Holiday will bring it up with the Milwaukee Bucks. And the layup's good off the glass. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. Passes it to Griffin. I'm deep. Rebounded by the Bucks. From deep, Giannis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got six assists here tonight. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Now here's Durant. 12 points for him. Off the left rim and out. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Brooklyn trailing. Harris with it. Out guarded by Giannis. Durant feeling it out a bit. Let's keep it alive. Second shot opportunity. And the rejection by Giannis. And the pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Antetokounmpo. And the dunk by Giannis. Absolutely awesome to watch Antetokounmpo rise up to these throwdowns. I mean, it's really quite easy for him. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Checked in for Brooklyn. James Harden comes in for Brown. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Milwaukee. No bounds against Griffin. Pass to Green. Harris with it. Shot clock at five. And again, it's the Nets missing. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. And it's Giannis missing. Nets trail by four. A shot by Harden. Wide open. No good. Unable to end this run. Outside Holiday. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Holiday's got his second basket of the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. They kick it out to Green. And here's Harris from the arc. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got four rebounds in this game. Burnett shooting a cool 28% in the second quarter. For three, Harris. And it's rebounded by True Holland. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Here's the lob, and Kumbo takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. It's really easy to understand why this team thinks so highly of Antetokounmpo. I mean, a smart player, he takes high percentage shots, and he's team first in his approach. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Now the feed to Middleton. Nice ball movement by Noah. Down it goes. Nice one there from Antetokounmpo. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. 
Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. It has not been his game so far. I mean, he's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. Here's Lopez. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. Lopez is really dangerous as a shooter if you give him space to catch and then shoot. Here's Griffin. And he goes beat with the chunk over Brook Lopez. Oh, my word. I shouldn't be amazed anymore when Griffin pulls off a dunk like that, but I always seem to be the man has some unreal moves above the rim. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent awareness. Harden the pass to Durant. Back to Harden. Two minutes. Harris outside. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his seventh assist here tonight. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Some changes. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Griffin, and Irving subbed in for Joe Harris. The box also changing it up. Bobby Portis comes in for Brooke Lopez, and it's Pat Connaughton in for Chris Middleton. Now here is Holiday. Here's Connaughton. Adi Kumbo trying to break loose, and it's Connaughton missing. Here's Irving finished off the break, and now just a four-point Bucks lead. Tell you what, this is what Irving can do now. He'll leak out and then make the right read in transition. And Giannis throws it down. This is a whole phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Now here's Durant. 12 points for him. Here's Claxton. Boom, he jams it straight down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Yeah, they've gone away from the triple as they look to protect this lead. Yeah, you know, sometimes that can be a mistake. But they weren't shooting it especially well early on, so I think it makes sense to shy away from the triple. Bucks leading by four. Holiday dishes to Giannis. Pass to Holiday. Anthony Takumbo trying to free himself up. And another three for Milwaukee. Bringing that three-point percentage up quite a bit this quarter. Shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. Count it. KD's got six points in the quarter. Nice handles. Tight handles. Fluid handles. Right into a shooting motion. Durant able to do everything on the offensive end. Here's Giannis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And that's now 37 points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, a big effort from you guys in the first half. How do you keep that momentum going? Come out with energy, you know, just try to keep pushing the ball and uh, get stops. We know that's coach's emphasis, Chris. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, and we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, we hope you've enjoyed the first half. I'm Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Well, for the Bucks, 
after falling into a 1-0 hole to start the series. They look to be getting back on the right track here tonight, and it's crucial that they do hold on to this halftime lead because falling behind 2-0 would leave them with a very steep hill to climb. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bucks? As expected, the King has ruled the court. One of the smartest players ever. Can't throw anything at him he hadn't seen. Defense just so does he. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Brooklyn? I look at the lack of free throw attempts as a key indicator. Because the funny thing about getting to the charity strike, you have to earn it. You have to put your body in harm's way and be physically willing to take the hit. Right now, one team's playing aggressively and the other team isn't. That's the big difference in the score. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. You look at Enetokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. NBA Playoffs Round 1. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, Middleton and Giannis are the forward handed. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez, and at the front, Roman the paint. Here's Holiday. After the main shot from KD. There's the triple. A rebound by the Nets. Jordan's got rebound number seven for him tonight. That one good for two. Irving's got 21. Boy, that's an example of Durant's basketball IQ and awareness, both platinum level. Holiday against Irving. And the Kumbo. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's on Kevin Durant. For Milwaukee, they have shot the ball well from the free-throw line. Eight of nine. That's good from out of the Kumbo. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Outside Durant. In the corner, it's Harris. Misses the three. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that. From the baseline, Andre Takumbo trying to free himself up. Encouraging whenever Harden blocks a shot. When he defends with tenacity and intensity, he's capable of this. And the shot is good. The Bucks lead has been cut down now to just six points with that basket from Durant. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. Here's Yuck. And they call the foul, so a chance That's at the good. line for one more coming up. No, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. The Bucks have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. What's up? That's good from out of the Kumbo. Nets trail by nine. Outside Irving. Pass to Jordan. From the high post. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Durant's got six here in this quarter. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out. On. Here's Middleton. Releases from the wing and drills it. Middleton's got the lead back up to nine now for Milwaukee. Man, it's obvious that Middleton has great confidence. I mean, you can just see it oozing out of him. He's so good at catching the defense off balance and 
knocking down the catch and shoot jump shot. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Outstanding awareness and a terrific finish. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. To the inside, and slam dunk by Harris. How about that? The flush from Harris. People forget this guy is 6'6", and he's got a little burst and bounce, too. Giannis kicks to DiVincenzo. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And Giannis throws it down. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Kumbo against Durant. Stolen by Durant. The three from Harden. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Giannis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Loads it up for Giannis. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. The adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Brown in for James Harden. And then for Milwaukee, Bobby Portis is checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Giannis under the Kumbo. And it's Teague in for Drew Holiday. No good from Jordan. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a of miss like that. Steven Chenzo passes to Portis. Plays it up and banks it in. And it's an 11-point Bucks lead. Oh, great production on the interior right now. Eight straight from inside. Buffalo bully ball right there, partner. Irving, good. Always great from deep. I don't think Irving has gotten enough credit for how lethal he is from behind the arc. Down low, Griffin with the steal. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. In the corner, Irving with it. Lobs it up for Jordan. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Throws down the breakaway jam. Well, you've got to recognize how active Middleton is on defense. I mean, this is a guy that you can't afford to be careless around. Here's Griffin. Stolen by Tucker. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Outside Teague. The pass to Middleton. No good off the back of the rim. Next trail by 10. Here's Griffin, and the slam by Blake Griffin. And that's the trademark Griffin finish. Get in tight, elevate, and throw it down with a four. Big fella is a beast down low. Now here's T. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Middleton against Brown. Milwaukee with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. A three for DiVincenzo. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And it's Brown missing. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Irving. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for the Nets. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton.
from deep three-point range. DiVincenzo can't hit it. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. That's in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Blake Griffin. There's Cunnington, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. All the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, he's got to play without foul. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Green is checked in for Harris. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Forbes checked in. So he hits both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Brown outside. They kick it out to Green. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And that one's good, Irving. You know, his job is really to carry the load offensively, and that's exactly what Irving is doing tonight. Chief, the pass to Portis. Out to the wing. A floater go. That shot off. Some solid defense from Brown. Inside and stolen by Jeff T. The shot's good from Forbes. Forbes has got five now. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Bucks. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort to the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And, and also, how about the points they've got in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Now here's T. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shot clock at six. Sinks that one from the post. And now a nine-point Bucks lead. Excellent body control that time from T to feel the contact, but still be able to keep himself in position to score. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. Here is Forbes. He has five. And here is Teague. Great D that time from Irving. Frozen. Guys just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Irving double team. Over to the left wing. Claxton. A three-pointer, no good. Bucks leading by seven. Here's Teague. And it goes down two points. Teague's got a second bucket tonight. And so Brown will bring it up for Brooklyn. Pass to Irving. Here's Claxton. And he throws it down hard with one hand. What a beautiful dime there by Kyrie. We've seen him improve as a passer since he's been in the league. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. with a change here too. Drew Holiday is checked in for Pat Connington. Forbes the pass to Teague. From downtown Forbes can't get it to go. And on an open look like that he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Irving kicks to Brown. No good on the triple. Not a single point in this quarter for him. Obviously, not what they need right now. He's got the score. 
And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. You know that's how it goes with him and me. His hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. And it's Portis for a rebound by the Nets. Griffin's got six rebounds in the game. Shots good by Durant. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Teague finds Bordas. Tipped away. Griffin with the steal. And now the fast break. Griffin with the ball. And it's Brown missing. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Here's Irving following the bucket by the Bucks. Pass to Durant. Here's Claxton, guarded by Holiday. Back to Durant, five to shoot. Top of the key, and he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Durant's got 30 points. And really, the score in this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. He can't get that one to fall. And it's the Nets taking it the other way to the paint. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut to just one on the basket from Kyrie Irving. All Irving needs is just a little room to convert, and he's good to go. The shot by Holiday, no good. And here we go, Brooklyn fast break. Irving for three. The shot's good, Brown making the play. Brown's got his fifth assist in this one. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Brooklyn Nets, and he continues to torment them from three-point range. A total of five threes for him in the game now. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Head coach Mike Budenholzer is mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. We don't need to be in a hurry to be in. Let's just go with our defense. Keep moving, keep... Poised aggressiveness, guys. I think the message there from Mike Budenholz asking for energy, asking his guys to mount an attack. Well, and all five guys need to be on the same page. You need to be active, yes, but you also really need to communicate with one another. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Irving is out there with Harden. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And it's Durant. And it's Claxton in at the fourth. So that's the next spot. Holiday. And Durant sends it back. And on the way from Irving for three, Giannis grabs the miss. And here comes Holiday leading the fast break. And the jump by Giannis. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Boy, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Lopez with the steal. Forbes the pass to Holiday. Trying to get open his open. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Boy, well, nice job that time, guys, from Forbes. Spotting the wide open man and dropping the down. Irving with it. Irving double team. Claxton with the bucket. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high quality shot and then able to knock it down. Now oh, here's Young. Middleton on the wing over Irving. And Middleton the bucket on the assist by Giannis. That's now eight points for Chris Middleton. You know, even when the defense is good and really active and aggressive on Middleton, doesn't phase him. He's a real pro, and he's good at knocking down jump shot. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Count that bucket. Holiday's got the game tied up here for the Bucks. Nice awareness from the young forward. Giannis Antetokounmpo showing he wants to work it to his guy. Passes it to Harden. From the arc. They grab their own miss. And there's Jordan putting it right back in. And the Nets lead by two. Yeah, Jordan is aggressive as a rebounder. He uses his massive body, athleticism, and long arms to wreak havoc on the glass. Now here's Middleton. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. 
Here's KD. Gets the bucket and the foul. It goes on Chris Middleton. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Nets. They've been penetrating with a certain amount of ease, guys. Just as much in this half as the first. They've also been pounding it inside tonight and coming away with a lot of points in the paint. I call those PIPs. Joe Harris has checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Hard to imagine Durant not going down as one of the great scores this league has ever seen. As a matter of fact, that's a given, folks. Dynamic, explosive, and he's consistent year in and year out. And Andre Takumbo slams it in. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Boy, nice way to punctuate that possession. Irving double team. And a wide open look for Jordan. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Bucks trail by three. DiVincenzo can't hit it. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Here's Harden. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harden's got four points now in the quarter. All quarter long, he's been zeroed in and, and knocks down big shot after big shot here in the fourth. Few better than Giannis completing the play. Incredible strength plus excellent agility. What's up? This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Now here's Jordan. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Boy, he's got outstanding balance. Kyrie Irving is so good at converting through contact. For a little guy, he's one of the best I've seen. it in it's been like this all night for both teams the offenses having their way any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one well they'll be happy with that look even though it didn't fall you know what that's a confidence shaker for him though i mean that's a shot he expects to make every time Here's Harden, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Brooke Lopez. And Harden is fearless. Awesome at gutting the defense and making them send him to the line. He just knows how to draw fouls and get himself to the strike. That free throw good from Harden. You know, it's become almost a foregone conclusion that Harden is going to lead the league in free throw attempts every year. He is a master at getting to the line. Harden hits them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Giannis passes to DiVincenzo. Shot by Middleton, wide open. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Middleton's got nine points now in just the second half. On the wing, Harden. Pops it up for Jordan. Throws down the alley -oop slam. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Irving's shot is good. Irving's got the lead up to six now for Brooklyn. Has he risen to the challenge down the stretch or what? Three or four here in the fourth. Timeout called the Bucks. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. He can't miss from deep. The defense has to regroup here. And I think they've got to change things up because he's locked in from behind the arc.
Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Boldenholzer told his team during that timeout. He said they played well in certain areas, but the lack of detail to the defensive boards has allowed their opponent too many second-chance opportunities. And that, he said, is the difference in this game. Have to get busy on the glass, Kevin. Thank you, David. And, and you like to see since the half now. He's finally starting to come around. Middleton against here. Middleton outside. And again, the Bucks miss. And then they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. And there's Jordan putting it right back in. And the Nets lead by 10. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. To end the run, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And Brooklyn called for the foul. Well, you look at the skill set and size of Middleton. Hard for any defense to match up against. Just so creative in how Shoot he draws two. contact and gets himself to the line. first free throw is good and it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line not missing their chances when they get them Portis he's checked in for the Bucks. good on both Middleton is most known quite honestly for his scoring ability he's a sniper from outside that you can't afford to lose contact with now here's Irving has to harden Durant trying to break free. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Irving. Harden's got 10 points in just the second half. To the middle. It's good, and the Brooklyn lead is kept back down to eight after they get the basket from Drew Holiday. Brooklyn's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Takumbo passes to Middleton and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you've got to be careful with Middleton down low. I mean, he's very talented at how he gets defenders to bite in the post. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Middleton hits them both. Brooklyn leading by six. Harris right side. The putback, and there's Jordan putting it right back in. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. That's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the way. And again. And he now owns third place for most points in a playoff game. An incredible game, no doubt. Nothing can slow him down. Rebound, Milwaukee. Giannis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Even Chenzo passes to Andre Kumbo. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ballgame. Pass to Durant. Trains the 19-footer. KD's got 35. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Now here's Holiday, and there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's foul number two for him. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout.
present our New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. Kumbo kicks to Portis to the paint. That is good. And the Nets lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Holiday. With experience, skill, and ability, Holiday makes for the perfect go-to scoring option. Here we go with Holiday running it up the court. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Now here's Jordan. Offline with his three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. To take the lead, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. And it's Harden with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. They've led by as much as 10. Hey, that's why you want an experienced veteran like DeAndre Jordan. That's a huge hoop from him. Now, here's Andre de Kumbo. Passes to Middleton. And out of bounds is Brooklyn Games possession. That could be costly. When the game is hanging in the balance, the last thing you can afford is to turn it over. Brooklyn leading by three. A minute 20 left to play here in the fourth. Here's KD. Some solid defense from Ante Kumbo. Milwaukee has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Down low. There's the pass to DiVincenzo. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. DiVincenzo's got 10 points in just the second half. Giannis against KD. Yes! Somebody lit a fire under Kevin Durant. So it's the Bucks now. Giannis is double. Holiday against Irving. Portis gets to Middleton. Giannis passes to Portis. Count it! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Akumbo against Durant. It drops. Well, in my mind, KD is one of the top ten all-time guys that you want taking that shot. His length, his ball handling, his shooting, and his confidence makes him huge in late-game situations. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're trailing by two. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Andre Kumbo gets to Holland. Oh, missed it. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what? Who knows? He misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. So they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. Unflappable. This guy relishes being the man to put the game away. And so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. KD, a statement win. How satisfying is it for you? It was fun. It was fun. Uh, we came out and played hard. Uh, guys played together. And this is all that I expected, man. Um, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we was able to get the win tonight. We're looking forward to the next game. We're looking forward to seeing you out there again, man. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time.